Tito Singh, who's a big man of the yes. party. Yes. That was simply marvelous. Already described that. Yeah, that's good. And uh, now it's time for our, our official ceremony uh, to install, to, to uh, ordain these two brothers who have stepped forth to answer the call of God. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, we are pre-started this morning. You know, uh, 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 about about a uh, man coming to God, because too many times we think it's us who call these men. But the Bible tells us. It's gave something to be mm -hmm. evangelist. God gave something to be evangelist. Mm -hmm. And, you know, the job of, of, of the leading ministers or the elders of the church, the shepherds, is to equip men for the work of the church. Mm -hmm. And God calls out of that crop of men whom he chooses to serve as an elder or as a deacon or as a minister. And he has chosen these two men to do so, and they've come forth to answer that call. You know, the word ordination means to be chosen. Mm -hmm. You know, consecrated, yeah. set apart. Yes. Yeah. You know, the, the, the purpose of having a ceremony is to publicly mm -hmm. call a person to service and to enable the person called to make a commitment before the people. Uh -huh. You know, the practice of ordination comes from the term laying on hands to a point to an office. According to Acts chapter 6, Titus chapter 1.5, 2 Timothy 1 and 6, and 1 Timothy 4 and 14. God has called all preachers everywhere to preach the word the instant in season mm -hmm. and out of season. Mm -hmm. Rebuke, reprove, and exhort with all long suffering and doctrine. Mm -hmm. The day, this day, we have come to add two, two other brothers to the ranks of minister for yeah. building up the body of Christ Amen. Mm -hmm. and the city yeah. of Baltimore. Amen. All right. Amen. Amen. I'd like to uh, have Brother Eugene Bill step forward. It's all right. Thank you, Eugene Bill. My brother, but I can't do it alone. We can't be together. <laughs> Amen. And I, I'll, I'll come here with you, my brother. One more thing. How about that? Sometimes I forget I'm 61. You know, my eyes are 61. <laughs> Amen. All right. Brother Eugene Bill, moved by your love for God and a sincere desire to proclaim the gospel of his son among men, Brother Raymond Eugene Bill, have you prayerfully considered the spiritual responsibilities and obligations acquired in the work of an associate minister? If so, repeat after me. I have the Lord being my helper. I have the Lord being my helper. Mm -hmm. Do you promise to be diligent in prayer, in reading of scripture, and of such studies and devotion as will increase your knowledge of God and his kingdom? If so, repeat after me. I do so promise. I do so promise. Mm -hmm. I want you to repeat after me. I, Raymond Eugene Bill, promise that always seeking God's help. I, Raymond Eugene Bill, promise always seeking God's help. I will faithfully perform the duties of the work of the of associate minister 
I will faithfully perform the duties as an associate minister. And I will always endeavor to keep peace. And I will always endeavor to keep peace. Unity. Unity. Cooperation and cooperation spiritual growth. And spiritual growth. In this congregation. In this congregation. In which I have accepted the appointment and ordained to serve. In which I have accepted the appointment and ordained to serve. As an associate minister. So help me God. As an associate minister, so help me God. Amen. Amen. For as much as you have declared your willingness to serve and accept the work of, by which you have been appointed and have promised to faithfully perform the duties, I, as the senior minister, You, Brother Joseph Lord, Joseph Antonio Lord, <laughs> and his lovely wife, Rochelle Lord, please step forth. <laughs> Moved by your love for God and a sincere desire to proclaim the gospel of his son among men. Brother Joseph Antonio Lord, have you prayerfully considered the spiritual responsibilities and obligations required in the work of an associate minister? If so, repeat after me. I have the Lord being my helper. I have the Lord being my helper. Do you promise to be diligent in prayer in reading of the scriptures, and in the studies and devotions as will increase your knowledge of God and his kingdom. If so, say I do so promise. I do so promise. Amen. And I want you to repeat after me. I, Joseph Antonio Lord. I, Joseph Antonio Lord. Promise that always seeking God's help. Promise that always seeking God's help. I will faithfully, I will perform, faithfully. The, perform the duties and the work of an associate minister. Perform the duties of the works and the works of an associate minister. And I will always endeavor to keep peace. And I will always endeavor to keep peace. Unity. <coughs> unity. Cooperation. Cooperation. And spiritual growth in this congregation. And spiritual growth in this congregation. In which I have accepted the appointment. And in, in which I have accepted the appointment and ordained to serve as a associate minister so help me God and ordained to serve as an associate minister so help me God Amen. for as much of you have declared your willingness to perform the duty I as the senior minister of inner city church of Christ do hereby formally appoint and ordain Joseph Antonio Lord to be associate minister of the inner city church of Christ and may God bless you as you serve him and in, king, and in the kingdom of his dear son Jesus Christ our Lord Amen, Amen. Amen. Amen.